Hello and welcome to Survival Lord. I am Gary and Reaver, and this is the first video I've recorded since my massive computer meltdown that cost me three entire hard drives. So hopefully things are working. They seem to be. I've done a few little tests, but if there are any issues, apologies. You might not be seeing this anyway. I. Uh, over the last four, three days, have spent more time than I would would have liked to repairing my PC. And you know what I thought about the entire bloody time? This game. I thought about this game and the way it feels in comparison to an actual, not life or death situation, but a real life, oh god, my computer may be broken forever moment. So. It makes me really, really, really want to play this. So let's go with scenario editor. And uh, no, actually, let's let's do a, an ordinary rescue, and then we'll try survive twenty minutes, and then I'll try the the uh, scenario editor that I mentioned last time. Okay, what do I need? Power transformer. Uh, power connector. Um, I'll get batteries, as many as I can, of course. Because they are, like, the best thing. Uh, pump. Pump filter. Yeah, it's got a pump and a filter. I don't ever find that I go right here. It's always stuff on the left that I need. Battery, battery. Uh, probably two more trips. So let's get another battery and a fuse. So the uh right last right I'm going to have to concentrate sorry one moment. Um battery transformer. Oh. F F F F F F. Oh, okay, that was close. All right, let's check what we got. Display. All right, decent electronic Bloody nothing, that's not good. Uh, all of that. Uh, electrical, also bloody nothing. Batteries, none. Okay. Fuse, electrical, what's electronic? Sorry, it's been a little while since I played this last. Battery and transformer. Uh, close you. Also got a power connector. God, I have just nothing. I've got, like, one fuse? Is that all I got? Fuse and a bloody battery? Not battery. Other thing. Warning light and a buzzer? That's bad. Um, right, what was opened up? Was it the recharger? I think it was the recharger. Yes, it was. Or was that the one before? So we've got the O2, the battery recharger, I think, was the thing I hot-rigged. Is it... Oh, I like how you can't open that. I like how you can't open that when that's open. Alright, so we don't have the repair station yet, so I think it was the battery charger that, that uh, opened up. Uh, let's get to the hydraulics. Okay. I've got virtually nothing today. Got some high-capacity stuff, but that is it. So, uh, don't have the PC yet. Um, and I don't know what to expect. I've got to survive 20 minutes. So if there is an electrical storm, uh, I need to disconnect all the power connectors. If there is a, uh, asteroid field, I've just got to fill dents. That's easy. If there is ice, I need to, oh yes. Um, I can't remember if I thought about that. Oh, I think this is the ice. In which case, I think it just shorts my monitors while the ice is going on, so I don't know what's happening. So not itself a horrendously bad thing. Is that what this is? No? Yes? Doesn't feel like it. Feels like this is something else. Yes, no, this is the ice. Okay. So that shorts my, my stuff. Um, but I don't believe it has any lasting effect. So I think this is an ice nebula compared to the uh, electric nebula. I don't know what else there is. Oh, yeah, no, I think that might be what it does. It, like, overcools. 
Yeah, I think uh, the Ice Nebula overcools so... Um, it, like, drops the power generation. Yes, yes, that was it. It drops the power generation. So that's now on battery. Actually, everything's on battery because this thing isn't generating enough power. So if I turn that off, I don't know if that helps. But the power generation, as you can see, is very low. So if I just turn the loads of, loads of stuff off to try and bring that down. Breathability is holding. That's fine. Doesn't look like that's still draining. That one is, though. So let's get a spare battery. Just keep it keep it running, keep it ticking over. Uh, so there is a power there. So yes, that's what that one does. It lowers the, the power output. That seems fine. I think I stabilized it by turning a few things off. The sound is much louder. Is it? I don't know. I don't know if I normally had music on. I'll leave it on for now. I don't particularly like having the music on, but... Because, um, yeah, I suppose I can talk about it during this. I've got the time. Um, yeah, I upgraded my PC a few days ago. And um, it was I've got, I got a new graphics card and a new power supply. So I currently, uh, recording this, I have the power supply in, but not the graphics card. And what happened was... I did not change all of the cables um, from my old power supply. So, like, my hard drives, my graphics card, my uh, SSD that I run the system off, my boot drive, that is, um, and my DVDs, DVD drive. Um, oh, and, and the processor. Oh, no, I changed the processor once. But all the others, I didn't change. And uh, it, it, it blew. It blew three hard drives. Um, three bloody massive hard drives. So it didn't blow my, my boot drive miraculously, but all my other drives just got, well, not wiped, but um, fried. Fried immediately. So the lesson is always change all of the cables when you get a new power supply. I didn't know that was a thing. I had no reason to think it was. Because they fit. They fit the same thing, but apparently the like the pins in them are different. Oxygen is low. Uh, oh, CO2 is max. Are we out of the nebula yet? I think we're clearing it. Um. So yeah, that that was really bad, really bad. Because, yeah, I just didn't... Ah, that's what this is going to be. It's going to be mostly bloody these. So I should... Should recharge this if I can. I like the sound that makes. Oh, my God, that is... Max usage. Hello, I'm max usage. Hooah. Um. Anyway. Yeah, I, I feel like this is going to be a lot of these. Because it's got the battery charger. Probably, like, brief respites between these when you've got to basically... Make sure everything else keeps ticking over. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. You've got to make sure everything else keeps ticking over while... Uh, oh, no, that's about to short out. And then in the... Presumably, in the brief moments between them, you have to... Um, charge bloody everything. That's off. I still don't need the cooling. Um, come on. I'm running out of batteries. Do da, do da. Running out of batteries. What do I do? I cannibalize batteries from the other machines. Do -ba -do -ba -de -ba -de. Thank you. I'll take that. Um. Yeah, so I I, what, I I fried three drives. And, uh, yay, we're clear. Fantastic. Power you up. Turn you back on. God, this drains a 
frock ton of power, doesn't it? Are you still... No? Looks like that's powered still. Good. So that should be slowly going back up. Yes, it is. Oh, no. Okay, the battery drained. And the gravity's gone. Because... Stuff stinging. Why is the why is the battery gone? It, sorry, not why is the battery gone? And the, the gravity's gone because the battery's gone. Uh, I do. I should need to take that on. Okay. Um. Off. Gravity's fine again. Okay. Um. CO2 is going up. Alright. What up, dog? Nab 2. Nab 2. Nab 2. Nab 2. What? What? What's beeping? Is it, is it this? Yes, it's this. Nab 2. Nab 2. Nab 2. I don't see it. Oh. Now, low pump. Off. Pump, pump. On. Always use right to left. That's still going up, so it means it's not the pump. KA08. KA08. KO2. High pod CO2. Yeah, I knew that. NA82. Low pump. I just replaced the bloody pump. AR22. I think that's a dirty filter. AR22. Dirty filter it is. Uh, off. Swap, swap. On. Oh, damn, we're leaking. Are we? Did I just see a leak? Did I imagine it? I may have imagined it. Are we good? I don't see a leak. Let me just turn the light off and check. Oh no. No, I don't see a leak. Okay. Where's the light again? Okay, that's restored. That's good. How are you doing? You seem to be doing fine. Miraculously. Um. Don't do that, please. Up is good. Oh, did I just hear something blow? I think I just heard a fuse blow. Uh, right, that's fine. Turn that off. Um, turn you on. Right, what fuse just... Oh god, I hate that it just kills the, the bloody... So it seems that charging the battery kills everything else temporarily. It's like very short term. Alright. No, don't shut. Off. Um, Alright, what fuse blew? Check everything. That's fine. TY2B. TY2... TY2B. TY2B. Bad filter. Come on, I just swapped the filter. Thought something else was bad filter. Check everything else, though. So the filter, NAB... NAB? NA8... NA8... NA, low pump. So the pump and filter are both still knackered, apparently. That's fine. That's fine. What fuse did what what fuse did I hear? That's fine. Nine loft. Nine loft is nine loft bad battery. Yep. There's the battery. Take that out. Uh, just stick you on. Mm. 
Yeah, that's fine. I can live without gravity. I can live in space. I'm a spaceman. Spaceman floating in the stars. I don't know how this song goes, and I... Um... I'll make myself look like an ass. Now don't shut you. God, it's so irritating that the, the shut button is right next to why is that why is breathability going down? Cause that's slowly going up because of the bad filter. I can't yeah, gravity went off, of course it did. Alright, let's try this. Uh grab you. Okay, um, off, right, left, on. No, that doesn't appear to have helped. Oh, um, off, on. No, okay, there is nothing I can do. I don't have another filter, and it compl complains about both filters, so shit. It is going up. And that went off. No. Oh, no. Um, off. Out. On. Um, off. Out. On. Off. Out. On. Um, why am I holding this fucking battery? Uh, off. Out. Oh, come on. Off. Out. Okay, that was close. Alright. So I think I blew the main fuse, but everything else is running on battery power that has now run out. Okay. Shut you. You still got a little bit of battery power left. Yes, I understand that you're bleepy. You're very bleepy, and I'm, I'm impressed with you. I, you should feel so good about yourself. Ah, oh, I can't do anything about the oxygen, so I'm gonna have to like vent it at some point. Oh, the power for that is just wiped. Oh, drop, grab, plug. Yes, stop. I understand that oxygen is going up and it's a problem. Breathability is very low. I can vent it, but at the moment, all of these things are just out in the fucking open, so. Grab you. Place. Where's the other one? Grab you. Okay, I'm gonna have to vent. I'm gonna have to vent stuff. Unlock. Is that helping? 11%. Still 11% somehow. Okay, that completely sucked everything out of the room, so there is absolutely no breathability right now. Hopefully that did something positive. Can you lock again, please? Um, how's this thing doing? I think I blew the main, main reactor fuse. I did not. Just shorted it. That's, that's the better of the two options. Okay. I can't crouch, so oxygen. Not oxygen. Oh, no, come on, oxygen. Piss! Oh, what was the option? Oxygen. Ox I ran out of oxygen. Damn, I was doing so well with that. Oh, I'm impressed with how well I was doing with that. And then it just... Uh... Oh, my God, there is a hot nebula and a black hole. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't like that you have to pick when when things happen. I wish there was like an option to make this random. It's actually quite a big detrimental part of this. I suppose the idea is it's a scenario editor. All right. I'm going to give this a go. No events. Uh, survivors like re basically as many number nines as I can fit in. Um, all of the components are there. All of the components are in the pod drawers as well. And it's just survive as long as possible. So... Let's give this a go quickly. I'm expecting... Oh wow, sorry. 
I gave myself infinite time here. <laughs> um, I'm guessing there isn't going to be much fun in this because there aren't going to be any events. It's just going to be floating until stuff degrades on its own, which is no fun. So I, this is mostly so that I can... <laughs> Look at that. Oh, God, can you imagine? All right, may as well just turn that off because that's not the point. I suppose I could do that on like just another kind, couldn't I? It's more the everything in the drawers that I wanted, but I don't know how to guarantee that on other settings. It's kind of disappointing that you can't set random events. That should be an option. Um, but yes, the difference with this, you see, is... Hang on, I'll just flick that off. Is the error list will show um, the codes. Not the codes, the other thing. The thing that isn't the codes. The, the issue. So this will... Um, this translates it for you. Um, but yeah, I, I think I've basically explained what happened with my computer. So um, I suppose I could continue about that a little and just have this as like a, a talking G-log, a just chatting G-log type thing. Uh, just chatting game, I don't know. A uh, fried three drives while replacing the cables. Miraculously, the SSD was fine. Miraculously, the graphics card was fine and the processor had different cables because my old power supply had integrated cables and my new one didn't which meant I had to switch the processor cables. When uh, I eventually found out that this was a thing, I then contacted like a data recovery uh, company who, uh, like I, oh, I contacted two, one wasn't able to help, one was, left uh, my drives with them. But the thing is, data recovery is freaking expensive. Like it costs six times, about six times the cost of a new drive to get a single drive recovered. So I had to replace three hard drives. I had to get a new SSD to replace my boot drive, not because it blew, but because um, it's just, it's tiny. It's tiny and I don't have space to reinstall stuff. I was barely chugging along before this uh, with my boot drive. And I had to uh, recover as much as possible because you see, I didn't back up. And I'm... I am kicking myself so much for it, but I thought it's just a power supply. What could go wrong? Turns out bloody everything could go wrong. Don't don't mess up with this stuff. I um, left one drive with them because, like, I, basically my first drive was like all of my files. My second drive was all of my games, and my third drive was like a local backup. I left the files one, the one that has my video work, my D and D campaign that I've written from scratch. The, I mean, I, I do have some backups. Like, I, I had a backup about three months ago, and I I have now learned that I should backup more often, so I've also also got a new backup drive coming um, to, to make sure that I have the space to, to back stuff up, because part of the reason I don't back up more often is I don't have... I just don't have the external hard hardware space. I gave them the, the drive that had all of the files and stuff on, all of the things that, if I lost, I would be heartbroken. Um... Yeah, because all my video work, all of my D and D campaign, like um, the the fan art collection, both of uh, no, I've got I've got the fan art that people send in backed up, uh, except the more recent stuff. But um, like fan art that I've collected, things I like, my like thousands strong desktop wallpaper collection, I didn't have backed up. I don't think, my, maybe maybe, but it was probably outdated because again, like three months. Wow, this is really dull without er like events isn't it really dull so disappointing that there isn't a random element so you can't just say all right have an event happen at this point it can be any of these ones you know that would be really cool that would complete this because otherwise this sandbox for this game is amazing yeah so I, I sent that off and they said okay we don't know whether it's going to be recoverable at all but it'll probably be seven to ten days if it is like is if it's just the the PCB the like the circuit board on the board that is uh, on the the drive that's blown it like eight or nine out of t times out of ten it's not a problem. Uh, if it is something else, it will both be more expensive and take longer. CO two scrubbers repair stations also on. Why is everything on? Doesn't everything doesn't need to be on artificial gravity? Yeah, so that is everything. That's basically everything in the pod that I've unlocked. It's just the repair station that I haven't, I think. All right, so I guess for this, put in the comments which 
um, problems you want me to encounter, and I will try and encounter them. I've no idea what you do with a black hole or a hot one. I assume the thing with the hot one is it overheats your generator compared to the cold one, which uh, underheats it. Um, but yes, put in the comments like what emergencies you want me to fight in what order, or like so, like you could say. Um, Asteroid, 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 ice, asteroid, ice, ice, asteroid, or something like that if you really bloody love asteroids and ice. Anyway, as I was saying, so I left it with them, and I'm thinking it could be two weeks before I even find out if my drive is recoverable. What the hell do I do? So I got, like, I got a new drive um, that is now installed, a new hard drive, so that I could start installing Steam games because I don't have room to install programs again. Um... And then uh, today, the day I'm recording this, I got a call from the uh, data recovery company to say, hey, um, we think we have all the files back. Here is a, a file list that we've emailed you. And I go, bloody hell, that looks like that's all of them. So I went and picked that up today. So I have my videos back. I've got my D&D back. I've got my wallpapers back. I've got all my personal files and stuff back from what I can tell. With this sort of thing, because it's very hard to know if something is corrupted, like it's called a bad sector, I think, within the drive. From what I can tell, I've not gone looking for anything that hasn't been there yet. So it is possible, touch wood, that I do have my entire drive back. And that is so, so good. I was planning on waiting until the new SSD arrived before doing any recording or any editing. Um, they're working again. So it seems I do have... Uh, both the recording and the editing software installed on my tiny, tiny little C drive. Um, and it was just because it was missing some, like, through links on the D drive that they weren't working. So now that I've put in a new D drive, apparently this is working. So hopefully I will... Um, dirty filter and low pump. Hopefully. It's really irritating that they both go at once, isn't it? Hopefully, uh, I will be, like, good to, um, to record. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, you good? On battery. Right. Why are you pinging at me? Thank you. I think it was because CO2 was slightly high. But yeah, did you see that converted it because of this computer? So if this was off, it wouldn't have done that. Oh, cool. Huh. Uh, master caution, data connector. Okay. So I guess the processes are only used in the computer. I haven't seen them anywhere else, I don't think. Maybe on the gravity? Uh, so yes, essentially, um, I am mostly back up and running. I am going to have to, um, uh, like, essentially take everything offline again, not in the pod, I mean, in, in real life, to install the new boot drive. That'll take, like, hopefully less than a day. I don't really know how much, how long this takes, this stuff takes to do. But once that's done, and I've got, like, a, a large boot drive that I can then install stuff to properly, I should be able to install um, my editing software to it, my recording software, basically just get everything up and running again. I got my main files back, but I've still lost, I've still lost two entire drives of stuff because I can't afford to, um, to restore them really. It's very expensive. And they are the two drives most likely to have been backed up because they're stuff that I add to less often or they're stuff that needs it less so um i lost a load of local saves like i had a um uh I, well yeah I had, I had several games that were local saves only non-steam games these were uh, for the most part that just gone uh so i don't know if i've got my settlers because uh, i i think i turned the cloud saves off for settlers some other steam games don't have cloud saves i've been sort of going through and ticking them off as as i find out if the series have saves on the cloud and um it's it's been really really rough over the last few days not knowing if this 
little machine that I depend my entire life on, personal, professional, uh, pleasure, just everything in this one bloody machine, and I managed to scupper it. And that's why I thought so much about this one bloody game while I was doing it. So it seems that this is very dull. I hope you haven't mind me talking over it. It gave me a chance to actually talk freely, but um, yeah, there, there is there is no entertainment in <laughs> in this scenario. So I need the random events. Put in the comments which random events you want to see. I think I'm going to leave the video here because I talked about this a fair bit, so I'm going to make this like... Uh, uh, just chatting sort of gaming g-log type thing. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your patience and understanding during this time. I think I'll uh, asphyxiate myself. Oh look, you can hear it leaking. Well dinged. <laughs> Why has that got no batteries in it? I said full. Why has that got no batteries? That should be bloody full of everything. I said full of everything, you lied to me system. Kill me, woo, space. Now just like slam it in my face. Push me out into, into, oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was weird. Oh, at least you can't hear the bleeping. That's a nice touch. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with more Survival Lords soon and I will actually do some proper stuff. 14 minutes and just nothing happened. Um, so you definitely need the uh, errors, the uh, events as a thing to make this interesting. So let me know again which ones you want to see. Um, you could just like list a few of your favourites and I'll find a way to combine them or like go like ice, ice, fire, ice, ice, fire, ice or something and I'd just die uh, horribly, miserably and, and alone. Um, so yeah, that could be fun. So thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you later.